All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel, Hill Creek Outdoors. A little windy today, but at least we got some sun, warmed up a little bit. It's probably in the 50s, so it's a lot better than the 24 degrees we've been having. So we figured we'd come out here and spread some of this gravel. We had a load of gravel dumped there, 16 and a half tons worth of gravel. Um, so we're going to use the 1025R here, the John Deere, and we're going to spread some of that gravel to try to finish this uh, barn up a little bit. Um, around the lean to there on the right side and then back around the back it's kind of an l shape if you've been following the channel um, you can check out some of our other vi videos there on the construction of the pole barn um, but we wanted to spread this gravel out here and try to get that done we're obviously we're not going to be putting in concrete just right now but that'll be something probably later um, down the road but we want to get this completed so we're going to go ahead and do that don't forget to like and subscribe we appreciate you coming back and Let's get right into this video. So I know we got a lot of wind up here. I apologize for the wind noise. But hey, when you guys have a full bucket load of gravel, you got a lot of weight there on the front of this tractor. Um, what do you need? You're gonna need some ballast weight on the back. These are 70 pound suitcase weights each. And they go on there, a heavy hitch. Check out that heavy hitch and the quick attach system. We have a video out there, check that out because it'll save you some time and effort. It's not worth uh, killing yourself over and you're gonna need it anyway if you're doing loader work.
Alright guys, I just wanted to show you, I had to put uh, some treated boards down here just because of the level so the gravel doesn't fall underneath um, once we put the concrete on. So we put two boards there, down that way, just to hold that in a little bit so we can level this off. I'm going to finish this up here and then we'll do the back side. All right, so we got all the gravel put under the lean-to now, got everything leveled off. Obviously, we had to put some treated boards around to get it level. We did keep a couple four inches there along the edge of the barn to be ready for concrete. Uh, we might have to scrape out a little bit, but we got it as level as we can get it. We are going to do some downspouts later to get them away from, we'll hook up to the downspouts to kind of get them away from the building, trench them underneath ground like we did the house. But for right now, we got this like this, so we can actually get down when it gets muddy. But I'll kind of take you a walk around here, but before we do that, obviously there is our water spigot. And we are going to be fixing this ditch area, putting gravel around there so you can walk on the side. And having a nice ditching system there to get around the building. But we'll take a quick walk around here to kind of show you what we got as our finished product before we put concrete up as you can see we had to put some boards on the right side like we already showed you but we are finally to the point where this is level and we don't have to worry about it anymore 
So let's go around front here because we did expand the driveway. We still have quite a bit of gravel out or left over, which is good. But we also extended the driveway on this side for this ditching system that we're going to once again work on. And we'll show you that later. But here's our other water hydrant here in front. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time on Hill Creek Outdoors.